Hey guys, I have another book review for you. Hopefully this one is better than the last one. But this is She Loves You, She Loves You Not by Julie Ann Peters. And I loved this one. I gave it another 4 out of 5, I think. Maybe a 5 out of 5. But I really, oh man, this book is really good. If you like Sarah Dessen, definitely pick up this book. Because her writing is very Dessen-like. So if you like it, if you like her writing, then I definitely recommend picking this one up. But this one is about a girl named Alyssa. And Alyssa um, moved into her mother's apartment because her father kicked her out because she was a lesbian and she was caught doing something with her girlfriend, Sarah. And it's just her story trying to get over Sarah and trying to... And as the story like goes, you, you start to learn more about what happened until like the ending you finally realize everything that happened and she uh, gets a job at a diner and she meets a girl named Finn and Finn is really self-assured really confident um, yeah so just really good book and they start to realize that they have feelings for each other but um, Alyssa is very nervous obviously she has a right to be because she doesn't want people to find out, and neither does Finn. So, it's just really good characters. I loved Arlo. He was hilarious. I loved Finn. I loved Alyssa. Um, she could have... She... Alyssa was a little bit emo, but once I figured out, like, why she was so emo, like, I kind of understood her a little bit more. Um, I had a lot of empathy for her. And, um, her mother... Oh, man... <laughs> Her mother tried her best, and I kind of feel like uh, Alyssa used her, but then judged her very harshly because her mother um, is like a working girl, and she dances and stuff like that, and she doesn't hesitate to borrow money from her mother, but then she'll turn around and call her like a whore, and just like she's really ruthless and mean to her mom and that was one thing that I did not like about the book because I know nothing can be sunshine and rainbows but I just really didn't like how she just stepped all over her mom and had this really self-righteous attitude about her when she was no different and um, this the secret at the end was really good the ending was excellent it had just enough closure to where I was satisfied but I could have read more so this this woman knows how to write seriously if you haven't read Luna oh. Luna is one of my favorite books of last year, like, that when I read it. I think it's older than that. But if you have a chance to get on to, to get on board with Luna, I definitely recommend it. It's so good. And so is this one. It's the perfect amount of, like, angst, love, like, epicness. So just, oh, the, and the scenery was wonderful. Um, it was very charming, if, if I can even put that into work, because she's so sad. But it is, it's just charming. And, wow, just the struggles that she goes through as a teenager, and it just reminds you about life, and just, it makes you sensitive towards those kinds of things, and I, and you guys know, I love those kind of books that really make me think, and they just, it brings a smile to my face when I think about these kinds of books, but, um, yeah, definitely recommend this one as well really good book. Um, if you like Sarah Dessen and those kinds of writers, then I recommend this book. Um, like I said, very, very Dessen-like, and um, I, loved it. I loved it. So, definitely recommend this one for you guys if you are interested in it. So, that is my review for She Loves You, She Loves You Not. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and this was, like, a good one for you. <laughs> I know, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Bye.